Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 8th. So, yeah, we're just going to see what comes up for the 8th. What do we have for around the 8th? A big mess. These cards are stiff. What do we have for around the eighth? The Empress. Beautiful. Absolutely. The eighth. The eighth. The eighth, the eighth is all about abundance. Eights happen to be about abundance. And the Empress is all about abundance. Uh, everybody wants to help the Empress. She's glowing. She's glowing, okay, so ah, this is the birth of a new life on the 8th, right? Absolutely glowing, all right? Um, now, the Empress is a domestic goddess. She has plenty, a hostess, does everything with love, very sensual, very beautiful, um, very down-to-earth, wealthy, um, creates a new life so this is about creating a new life on this day it's delivery time right it's time it's time queen of swords well by golly on the eighth the queen of the empress next to the queen of swords i'm unfreaking believable so the queen of swords um is a professional Queen of Swords is a professional. We're going to put it right here because it came second. So giving birth to a new life. This is a new beginning. It's a beautiful new beginning. The Queen of Swords has some sort of truth power in her hands because that is a sword of power. Very intelligent. Think fast. New perspective. We have a very wise, independent person here who has some sort of clarity, also receiving a gift by the looks of things or a blessing. So yeah, we could be dealing with a Taurus, we could be dealing with a Libra or a Gemini or an Aquarius, but this is the sort of power, the truth, the truth, the raw truth. She has the truth, she has some sort of information or some sort of power in her hands. So this is a very strong, independent woman. Um, King of Cups, wow, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be anybody else, but there's feelings here, there's some sort of feelings, looking for love, somebody may be looking for love with this Empress or this Queen of Swords, whoever it is, this is somebody who will only ex accept the truth, okay, the Queen of Swords can be brash, you know, knows their value, knows their worth. So we definitely have somebody here that knows their value, knows their worth. This is a very beautiful person that is very intelligent, okay? Um, very, very wise, has a lot of life experience. So we have a, a feminine here that is very experienced with life, that is starting a new life, that has a new perspective, is taking a new approach because that is a new approach. We also have another person here that... Um, maybe expressing their feelings or they have feelings for this person. Um, someone with good intentions, you know, uh, maybe making an offer of some sort. This is a very feeling individual. There could be a, there could be a conversation that is being had with somebody that has a really big heart that is looking for love. This person is very charming. They're very romantic. They're expressing their feelings. Uh, we may have uh, somebody that has turned their back on this person or, you know, may be, um, you know, not really communicating or something. And the King of Cups is somebody that genuine, genuinely has some good intentions, that is very emotionally balanced, that may be looking for love and looking maybe looking for somebody who's really going to take care of them. You know, the Empress is tender love and care. You know, this person is very motherly. 
Uh, so, yeah. Communication. Back and forth. There's going to be some, I mean, this could be also be the rods of love. So something is going on here. Okay, the, the Eight of Wands is things happening very fast as well. It's fast forward, ready. Somebody's ready. They're ready to move forward. They're ready to fall in love. They're ready for a new life. And so they're probably going to be communicating something. Um, there's definitely going to be some communication coming through between a male and a female or ma masculine and feminine, however you resonate with that. Okay, there is going to be... Um, some sort of communication going back and forth. This could grow very, very, very fast. It could grow very fast. Um, it's definitely a very fertile time. It's a time of growth. Uh, there's going to be uh, messages going back, but messages of love by the looks of things because the Empress is all about love and the King of Cups is all about love. So there's going to be messages of love going back and forth. Um, there could be news of a birth for some of you. And that's, you know, I've had somebody comment on one of my, I mentioned a birth in a reading and somebody got all bitchy about it, you know. <laughs> Take what resonates and leave the rest. I don't plan on having any kids. But I, I if somebody says that, I don't get all bent out of shape. You know, the birth of something new. Okay, we have the birth of a new life here. Things are about to grow. And they're going to grow fast. Some may have to think fast. They may have to think really fast. This is think fast. You know, things happen really, really, really fast here. We may have a very feeling king that is very intuitive that feels, they see this, because this is a vision, wands are visions, they see this beautiful feminine, you know, and they just uh, run with it, you know, they run with it really, really fast. So, you know, and this person is very independent, may not be looking, obviously not looking, and boom, right there. The High Priestess reversed, totally unaware. Somebody's unaware. There's a lack of, of knowing here. Unpredictable. This is unpredictable. I feel like there's a secret that is going to be revealed. It may have to do with feelings. We definitely have a very sensual... Uh, alluring mysterious individual here that uh, I feel like this person is being pursued totally 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 unpredictable great strength nine of wands we have somebody that has some doubts and fears in their head you know, they've been, had some challenges, they've been wounded, they've been hurt, um, they're afraid, they have some sort of barrier up, but I feel like their gut and their intuition and their heart has been telling them that they need to fight or they need to take action, you know, and I feel like they've been ignoring their intuition, but I think that they are ready, they're ready, because this is ready, ready to, you know, uh, face their fears or to accept a challenge this person may have given up at one time or they were not going to look for love or they were not going to look for a relationship but it's like when they see this person or they get around this person or something like that or speak to this person or whatever it's just like they can't stop themselves that's what i see it's like you can't it's fool and and justice it's meant to be okay so the fool is a new beginning it gets exciting it's it's exciting so this is a carefree spirit is somebody who takes that leap of faith that is absolutely ready for a new life we definitely have a new beginning here stepping into new territory leaving it all behind 
taking the life lessons from the previous experience with them, you know, and leaving everything else behind. This is taking a new journey, stepping into new territory, starting from scratch, doing the right thing, acting with integrity, making a decision, making a final decision, bringing balance and back to a situation, seeing the truth. So I do believe there is some sort of truthful communication that is coming out or there's some sort of new journey that is starting. This is very exciting. This does uh, it is going to take strength. It's going to take courage and you're going to and this this will require someone to let go of their fear. This is letting go of fear, stepping forward in faith in communicating Moving very fast. Somebody's moving fast. Absolutely. There is some sort of rebalancing going on. Somebody is ready to be held accountable. They're ready to make a decision. This is very ready. They're ready. They're ready. This is a new contract. Somebody may be um, getting in a new contract, signing a new contract. This is definitely starting with a clean slate moving very quickly towards abundance and love, unconditional love. I mean, the Empress is all about unconditional love. She does everything with love. She, you know, everything. But she knows her value and she knows her worth and she will only ex expect or accept the truth. And I feel like this person has been hard to deal with because it's the truth or nothing. Definitely. It's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And if you don't give me the truth, then it ain't going to work out. So we definitely have a beautiful individual here who can make anything grow. This is a creator. This person creates. So we got a creator here that is creating a new life. And they do have somebody here that uh, may want to have a relationship with them. I feel like it's very sudden. This is very sudden. This is very sudden as well. So we have a sudden uh, opportunity here to uh, start with a clean slate, to step into unknown territory. Uh, this is making a final decision with the Justice card, doing the right thing, being honest and upfront, uh, facing fears after being hurt, after being wounded, after you know having a barrier up. We may have somebody here that is following their heart, they're following their gut, after they've been ignoring their intuition and they're, and they're communicating their feelings or something like that. I feel like we have somebody here that is starting to see two sides. It's like there's two sides to every story. Maybe they've become enlightened, you know, and they're ready. They're absolutely ready to leave the past behind. So somebody is ready to leave the past behind because there's an opportunity for a new life here. Oh, four of cups. So for we have somebody that was ignoring their intuition. There was an opportunity for love. They may have missed the opportunity. They were discontent. They were sulking. They were ignoring an opportunity. They were. They were ignoring an opportunity for love. But it was it's been presented to them. They were ignoring it because they knew that they would have to be held accountable. You know, and accept the challenge, whatever the challenge is. I mean, the Empress is the pick of the litter, right? Everybody wants the Empress. She does everything with love. She cooks, she cleans, she puts her, her, her person on a pedestal. She's glowing, she's beautiful, she's abundant. So yeah, we definitely have a new life here. No doubt about it. Ooh, three of swords. We have somebody here who's been suffering. 
They've been in a lot of pain, really in a lot of pain. This is heartache, grieving, grieving over a loss, grieving over a partnership. And then we've got two cups down here. We have somebody that's been grieving. They've been ignoring their intuition, not listening, hurting, having a hard time accepting challenge. I feel like they're really, really ready. They're ready to be honest. They're ready to tell the truth, you know. So there's some sort of truth that is going to be coming out about feelings on this day. Hmm. Somebody could also be running into somebody suddenly. Okay, there could be some sort of uh, a new contract or something like that. Because this is a very sudden energy. So it could be somebody, and this is brand new. This is starting from scratch. So it could be somebody brand new. Whoever this person is, they have been severely wounded. They have been wounded. They've been wounded. Somebody's been wounded really, really bad by another person. Heartbroken. Absolutely heartbroken. I do, we may have an individual here that hasn't been looking. You know, they haven't been looking. They've chosen to be single. You know, they've chosen to be single. They're, they've been hurt so bad. They don't want this. They don't want love. And <laughs> Okay. Here it is. I feel, I know, I think this is about love. This is because of the Empress. The Empress is all about love. Love and abundance. This is a very wealthy individual. You know, it's somebody that is wealthy in, in many ways. Abundance is more than just money, okay? It's everything wrapped up into one. So yeah, I feel like we have a very, it's a very, it's a very uh, fertile time. It's a time of fertility. It's a time of growth. Somebody is making a decision in regards to starting a new chapter. So a new chapter is about to begin and it definitely happens very, very fast. That Knight of Swords has been showing up like crazy. This is somebody rushing in. Okay, they're rushing. They're in a hurry. Get out of my way. This is a man on a mission. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. This is starting a new chapter. Good luck.